the sole candidate in the parliamentary vote for the Thai Premiership, Pita Limjaranrat, fails to get enough support from both Senate and House. His path unclear and the government still in limbo ahead of another round of voting next week. Of more that top story, we're joined by Jay Harriman, Senior Director at Bar Group Asia, live from Bangkok. Mr. Harriman, now we've heard uh, Mr. Lim Jaranrat has fallen short of getting the numbers he needs to be the next Prime Minister. You are watching this. How far did he fall short? Yeah, that's right. We were uh, watching it here in uh, Bangkok, and uh, he received 324 votes in favour and uh, fell short by 52 votes. Uh, the, the total numbers came out to what most people expected, that uh, around 311 MPs uh, from the, uh, that he received from the House and 13 senators voted in favour. All right. Uh, earlier we spoke to our correspondent. They said the strategy for Move Forward Party and Poor Thai is unchanged for now, at least for the next round of voting on the 19th of July, next Wednesday next week. They are sticking with this candidate, Mr. Peter. Given the gap of, as you say, 52, and the fact that he has just five days to fill that gap, uh, in your mind, is that a prudent strategy as opposed to changing the candidate? Uh, yeah, that, that's right. They're going to go ahead. I think uh, Puatai is going to stick with Pita uh, and give him another chance. I think that for Puatai, um, the, if they want to win the Senate and they would like for, you know, likely their candidate, Seta, to become prime minister, um, that's an easier route. But they, they need to make that appear to be uh, their last alternative option that they their, their hands are tied. Um, because, you know, within factions within their party and they have to think long term as far as the next election goes, if they're if they're seen as quickly flipping sides and moving to to work with the uh, care, caretaker government parties, then uh, it could be politically damaging. Uh, but the easiest route for Puatai is probably to do this, to give PETA one more chance uh, before deciding on alternative options. So what you are suggesting, if I could uh, restate that, would be uh, perhaps 19th, 20th, uh, those are the next two rounds, uh, continue to back Move Forward Party's candidate. But after that, to say, well, clearly we're making no headway. Let's propose Well, yeah, they could. Uh, on the 19th, they would back Move Forward. So it could be, a mis as you yeah, say, Mr. Right. Seta Sorry, Tarbison. Uh, I think there's uh, some uh, slight delay. All right. It, it, they could then put for their That's own correct. candidate, Mr. Yes. Seta Tarbison, because uh, they might... Let's put it this way. Uh, the establishment, the Senate might find poor ties policies, their slight pullback in terms of structural reforms, which we are not seeing from Move Forward Party. They might find poor ties slightly more palatable. But poor Thai itself, thinking of its future with its electoral base, needs to show that it did not flip sides so easily. Is that what you project might happen after the 19th yes. of July if Mr. Peter does not get the vote? Yeah, I think after the 19th, uh, Puatai would look to put up Seta as their candidate, and they could do that, uh, you know, in another round uh, with the eight-party coalition. Um, in that scenario, it would be probably more challenging to get the Senate to support uh, Seta uh, as part of the eight-party coalition, uh, as opposed to if Puatai were also to put up Seta, but then change the coalition configuration and bring in Palang Bratarat, the Democrats, Pumjai Thai, because with the outgoing coalition, uh, General Brawit is sort of the key to the Senate. If Puatai can, you know, get support from General Brawit, uh, then he can easily probably unlock 100 seats in the Senate, which would make it uh, pretty much a shoe in for them to get the 376 seats needed. A move forward party, what leverage has it got right now? It can point to its 14 million that voted for it. But uh, does Poor Thai need move forward party to be on board? Should they switch and alter the shape of their alliance? Uh, Poor Thai doesn't need move forward. Um, going forward, they could switch, uh, like I said, and go with Palang Bracharat. Democrats, Pumjai Thai, but there's a, there's more of a risk with that scenario for the long term because a lot of the voter base for Puatai also has, you know, a, a lot of, um, let's say, sympathy with move forward. And there's also factions within Puatai that, uh, you know, are very uh, in favor of democratic uh, processes. 
and for Puatai to to flip and join uh, with the coup, uh, you know, former coup makers, um, it would potentially have significant damage in the next election where voters could consider, Puatai voters consider just to leave altogether and go and join, move forward. So they have to ba balance it very carefully. All right, not the fairest of questions, but because given anything can happen in Thai electoral politics, uh, the next five days, the next one week, the next one month, what do you see happening? Very quickly, final question. Uh, yeah, it's a, that's a tough one. But, uh, you know, I think in the interim, uh, the next five days, we could see a lot of politi political gatherings where people come out in support of PETA. I think on the economic side, this is not good for uh, business and investor confidence. The longer we have these delays, uh, the worse it's going to be for the economy. We've already seen significant foreign funds uh, flow out of the Thai economy uh, in the last year. Um, so the longer there, there is a delay, I think the worse it's going to be for the economy. Uh, hopefully, you know, we can see some resolution to this in the next couple of weeks. But uh, there, there's no assurances because uh, there's, you know, it's not specified uh, when this needs to end. Uh, the rounds could go on and on. But hopefully it will end sooner than later so that uh, everybody can, can move on. I, I think fundamentally, uh, Thailand still has a structural issue. And until the structural issue is resolved, you know, we will continue to be prone to political instability and crises because on the one hand, you have a significant number of voters that uh, see that political transition should be done through the ballot box. But then there's also, uh, you know, a minority of people who don't necessarily uh, think that that's the way it should be done. Uh, and when they lose elections, you know, they through connivance and manipulation, they, you know, aim through uh, judicial coups and uh, uh, so forth to to oust the the elected, uh, democratically elected government. Um, so until the, those fundamental issues are resolved, um, we, we, we still will uh, unfortunately be experiencing periods of uh, political instability. Oh, thanks for that, uh, Mr. J. Harriman from Bar Group Asia.